Welcome again to another YouTube Tuesday segment here on the Melling Law YouTube channel. Today we're talking about the protection of your business. A lot of people will ask me or, or rather tell me that they were uh, told by a friend or by an advisor or by the internet that they need to do one thing to protect their business. Uh, maybe that's uh, keeping minutes of their LLC. Maybe that's locating their LLC in another state. Uh, maybe that's uh, moving things to uh, some kind of asset protection trust or sheltered trust. Whatever that one thing may be, uh, the important thing to keep in mind is that in protecting your business, there's not ever just one thing that's going to protect it. Uh, usually when we're talking about asset protection with businesses, we're talking about the corporate veil. Uh, we're, talk about, uh, we're talking about diversifying control. Uh, and we want to take steps in order to uh, make sure that if you were ever sued as a company or as an individual, that number one, we're protecting your personal assets from those uh, business lawsuits, and number two, we're trying to protect the business from those lawsuits to the greatest extent possible. And the important thing to keep in mind here is that there is not ever just one thing that you need to do. There is usually a kind of a, a spectrum of things that you can do to help strengthen your case. And to the extent you follow more of those, you will be protected more. Uh, but it, it is important to think of it in those terms. So if there's a list of eight different things you can do to protect your business, if you're doing six out of eight, you're going to be a lot more protected than if you're doing just one thing. So thanks for watching. If you have questions about protecting your business, uh, these things are, they tend to be a lot more uh, customized, personalized to the type of business. So feel free to reach out with any questions.